In Montana, classrooms face a crisis. There's a shortage of teachers who are willing to come to small rural communities. This is Shelby, a small town of less than 4,000 people. They turn to the Philippines to recruit qualified educators and teachers like Ms. Mary Manda or Ms. M are migrating to teach the next generation of rural Americans. When I first got here in Montana, I am said, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm here already in the U.S. So I teach kids with different disabilities, children having autism, ADHD, and then like the mental uh, disability also. So different kinds of disability in one classroom. As a special uh, education teacher, we are trained to handle this kind of kids. I feel so sad when the people look down to these kids having their disabilities. I wanted to tell the people, it's, hey, excuse me, these people need more love, passion, they need patience, because these kids have special needs. Teaching is not just teaching academically. Teaching is like, it's a passion, you know. I want them to learn. I want them to be successful in their life. When I first heard that Mr. Crump was recruiting from the Philippines, as a teacher, I wondered if whoever they brought in would be familiar with our U.S. education code. The special education laws are so complex that I questioned whether or not the candidate would be able to follow those codes and really know them. Ms. M was amazing. She was so knowledgeable when she came. And what she didn't know, she learned very quickly. I have this anxiety that when I come here in, in the U.S., maybe I could probably experience that discrimination. Yeah, I could feel that I am different. They have different skin color. Also, our accent is a Filipino. It's different. For those people who are saying that, um, that I'm not qualified or I'm not deserved to be in here, well, that's their opinion. I have my master's degree. I taught kids with different disabilities in the Philippines. They think I'm taking away their jobs, but the thing is, I'm trying. I'm also helping. You know, I'm feeling this teaching shortage here. If nobody will be in this position, nobody will help these kids. I think that there were those who struggled with the idea of why we were bringing in teachers from another country and why we weren't able to find and recruit teachers from within our state to come back to places like Montana or to Shelby. But at the heart of the issue, the next generation isn't moving back to small towns like Shelby but even getting people to be interested in cultivating that next generation, people don't seem to be applying for it. The greatest issue is getting people to come and want to be here. These are loving, kind, generous communities that need good teachers, Filipino or not. Beloved by many, Ms. M has transformed the lives of many students with special needs. However, under her J-1 visa, she can only work in the United States for a maximum of five years. After that, she is required to return to the Philippines, a loss for Shelby and the Manda family. Whether this solution to the teacher shortage is sustainable in the long run is a lingering question for many Filipino teachers in Shelby. There's an anxiety that what will happen to us after we, our contract will end. Our type of visa, my visa is a J-1, so it means we are um, an exchange teacher. Our agency told us that we only could stay here for five years. How are we going to help them if our contract will not be continued? We are not given another visa. 
I, I think it's sad that in an instant, uh, if something's not approved, that, that they're sent back home. They're a part of my life. And I will, I'll be the first to tell you, if you're gonna come and you're gonna move to any country, I think you need to do it right. Historically, uh, people come to a small town to get started and then they leave to go to a bigger place. They take from the resources, very limited resources in a rural community um, and don't give a lot back. The Mandas have planted roots, in my opinion, uh, in our community. And it would be just as if my neighbor, who I've known just up and left, it, they're, they're not just here as teachers, they're here as a family in our town. The, the Filipino families aren't here uh, just to, to gain something, but they're here to give something as well. And I think that inspires other people. I am very proud of my fellow Filipino teachers because they are very hardworking and they could do something that could change or make a big impact to these kids. Leaving this place, it's you know, it's, it's really sad. I love Shelby because of the people. We need more teachers here in Shelby or any other district here in Montana. We need more teachers. A teacher is, is like a mother, a friend, a counselor, and these kids need special teachers that would understand them better. And I know Filipinos, we teach by our heart.